Jack Harlow is jumping into acting. According to various sites, including Deadline, the rapper will make his cinematic debut in a remake of White Men Can't Jump. Harlow will take over for Woody Harrelson, who co-starred with Wesley Snipes in the 1992 sports comedy about two street ball hustlers. According to Deadline, Harlow landed the role following his first ever film audition, impressing filmmakers and producers, particularly Kenya Barris, who co-wrote the screenplay with Doug Hall. Charles Kidd II, aka Calmatic, will direct the film, which will be produced by Barris's Calabo Inc. Society. According to Deadline, executive producers include Hall, Ryan Khalil, Noah Weinstein, E. Brian Dobbins, and Brooklyn Nets player Blake Griffin. The Watts pop and rapper recently spoke with Billboard on his role as a white rapper in the music industry. There is a reality that I am white and I think there will always be something associated with that. Harlow told the site, no matter how much I am accepted, there will never be a day where I'm not black. Having said that, there is a certain duty that comes with being a white man in a black genre, and there are some aspects that have been regarded differently. He continued, but there is something exhilarating about passing over whatever hurdles that might be there and forging oneness, Harlow said. Harlow revealed to Variety last year that he works out of fear in his business. I'm frightened of falling off and losing my spot, or losing the ground I've covered, or failing to reach the potential that people perceive," the nail tech artist explained. Every time I sit courtside at these games, or attend a Met Gala or the Grammys, I think to myself, I've got to be here next year. I don't want this to be the last time we see one another," he said. Harlow is now nominated for a Grammy for Best Melodic Rap Performance alongside industry baby co-performer Lil Nas X. White Man Can't Jump appears to be the latest film to be remade, with rapper Jack Harlow taking on one of the key parts. According to Deadline, Harlow nailed the first-ever movie test, landing a key role in 20th Century Fox's upcoming revival of White Man Can't Jump, portraying the character made famous by Woody Harrelson in the original 1992 picture. The revival is reportedly on rapid track, with the filmmakers actively looking for Harlow's co-star. These are the quickest cinematic franchise reboots of all time, including Batman, Spider-Man, James Bond, Hellboy, and others. Warner Brothers would have to relaunch Batman nonetheless because Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy told a very precise three-part Batman story that well ended. It came to an official conclusion, and there will be no more Batman in that realm. After Man of Steel, the push was made to bring Batman into the DCU as part of a shared movie that wouldn't focus only on the caped crusader, as spectators saw Thomas and Martha Wayne get gunned down for the 8th or 100th time on screen. Ben Affleck donned a cape and cowl. The Batman, directed by Matt Reeves, was originally supposed to be a Ben Affleck bat flick as part of the shaky DCU. After years of rumors, Affleck is out, and the Batman will apparently be set in the 1990s, with a younger version of The Dark Knight as well as Commissioner Gordon and Bruce Wayne's trusted butler and buddy Alfred Pennyworth. Is it still a part of the DCEU? That is currently unknown. A Superman franchise tearing? Brandon Ruth never really took off, despite the fact that Superman Returns was supposed to be a sort of sequel to Superman 2. As a result, Returns was less of a reboot and more of an actor swap. With the DCEU, however, comes to a full-fledged Superman reboot starring Henry Cavill as Kryptonian refugee Kal-El. While a five-year gap may not seem like much these days, the resetting of Spider-Man from the rhymy verse to a revamped Sinister Six setup astonished fans everywhere. Instead of a fourth film starring Tobey Maguire, the saga was revamped, with Andrew Garfield replacing Peter Parker and a new Uncle Ben taking a bullet. It was just awful closure all around because the first series concluded with the snub of a third film, and the second series never got a third film at all. To use Spider-Man in the MCU, a contract was struck between Disney and Sony that allowed for a type of insta-spidey. The plus side was that we got Tom Holland as Peter and a great seamless Spider-Man integration into Marvel's long-term 
long-term continuing saga. The negative was that the Amazing Spider-Man series was cut short before it could fully finish things up. Harlow, who has already established a great singing career, will make his feature film debut with this production. His most recent track, Nail Tech, has become another hit, reaching number 18 on the Billboard Hot 100. Harlow's abilities don't stop there. He recently demonstrated his basketball skills at the 2022 NBA All-Star Celebrity Game in February. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. What are your views about this? Let us know in the comments, like this video, and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.